going to the neighborhood market. Okay, so I'm almost there. I pick up my penny board, go get a Pepsi, and then I ride my penny board back home. And it took a while because a truck came in my way. And then I finally got home, oh, set my penny board away, and opened my Enjoy. Pepsi Bye. and drink it. People were saying when they jumped off, um, they got hurt. So I'm going to show you more ways. So I learned like this to put your foot on the ground until you just stop. And then another way to drag the bottom of your foot across the road, and then you'll eventually stop. Tutorial on the roll down. Start off by holding down your board with whatever foot you're comfortable with riding with. Start off by pushing down a little bit and push down a lot, just don't land it. Hopefully you'll have it by then. Bye! Out of all the comments and DMs, the sprinkles design one. So first I sprayed it off to clean it a little bit and then I wiped it off. And I covered the wheels with old newspaper. And then I grabbed my spray paint, I'm gonna do yellow, and then I spray painted it. Um, I did two coats because I didn't really want it to chip off. I waited for it to dry, and then when it was dry, I got my paint pens. Actually, I ditched the paint pens because they didn't have the colors I wanted. Got all the colors. I added white to some of the colors so it would be light. I started off with blue, then purple, then pink, and then red and green. So I was deciding on what to do with the little middle thing. While I was thinking, I saw a hummingbird. I got um, a brown and then made it lighter. And then if you can't tell already, I'm painting a donut. So I did that, I made the sprinkles, put a protective layer over it, and I really like this. Thanks for watching. Here's how to get off your board if you're going really fast. Uh, I just jump off and then run a little bit so I don't fall and then catch my board. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do the milkshake. This is an example of how the milkshake looks like. First, you're going to practice tipping your board over like so. Repeat the same process. Then the next step is to flip over your board after tipping it over to the right or to the left. It's your preference. This may be a little harder without the momentum, so it's okay to make mistakes. Then you're going to go without your board and practice the movement that you put all together. Keep repeating this. Then try it on your board. Once you feel comfortable, move on to concrete and don't be afraid to make this try. How to make sharp turns on a penny board. So if you want to turn left, just bend your knees and lean forward a little. If you want to turn right, just bend your legs and then lean back a little. If you're going too slow and need to go faster down a hill, just make long, hard pushes and then you'll go faster. Comment if you want a tutorial on how to straight and going downhill. So when I got my board, um, it turned left a lot, like it would just lean left a lot. So if it's leaning right or left when you don't want it to, just if your board is going one way and you want it to go straight, just look where you want to go and just lean that way a little with your heel. And if you're going fast down a hill, just swerve right and left, like big turns, um, and then you'll go slower. How to stop if you're going really fast. First thing that you can do is you could just run off and then catch your board if you have to, or you can run into the grass. And lastly, you could just firmly put your foot down. Hope this helped. So it's really wet and rainy out, which means I can't go skateboarding. So I thought I'd teach you this trick that I learned a couple of days ago. There we go. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is tip your skateboard over. Once you've done that, you're gonna take your dominant foot and step over. Then take your other foot and loop it under the skateboard and use that to twist the skateboard over your dominant foot. I'll put all of that together. So here I am doing it a bit slower so you can see what I'm doing. Then you can practice it faster and then jumping on when you're done. Good luck. The best shoes for riding are either Vans, Nikes, or basically just any shoes that have a grip on the bottom. So here's a video on how to keep your balance. First, hold onto a wall and then get comfortable just stepping on it and then standing there for a little bit. And then you can try not holding onto the wall and standing on it. And then after that, you can just give yourself a little push so you can ride a little bit. If you start to fall, just put out your arm for balance. I got my board from Amazon. I painted it purple because it was neon and I just wanted it to be purple. Here are some penny board tips for beginners. Don't just get right on. 
Make sure you find some shoes that have traction. Then hold on to something to get your balance. Once you're good at that, push off. Practice pushing off on flat ground. Learn how to turn. If you need to get off, jump. Now you can go downhill. I hope this helped. Have fun. Here are some beginner penny boarding tips. Number one, make sure you get one that you like. Number two, make sure you ride comfortably and fluently. I like to put my feet like this. When you want to ride, you're going to want to turn like this. Make sure that your feet aren't too close together and spread apart like this. When you want to stop, you're just going to put your foot down. Thanks for watching.